friends welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be sharing summer to fall transitioning outfits i'm going to be focusing on a lot of my most worn summer outfits and showing you how i transition them from summer to fall and hopefully give you some inspiration as to how you can do the same for your closet because everything i'll be showing is things that you already have in your wardrobe so don't need to buy anything new you just need to get a little bit creative with your styling if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on this video my name is Teshna. i love everything fashion on this channel i like to keep it very affordable very intentional and my style of dressing is casual comfy chic i like to live by those three c's especially as of lately so if you resonate with that sort of dressing and that sort of style then you're gonna really enjoy this video so let's jump straight into the first look first way you can transition your outfit from summer to fall is simply by adding a jumper. So let's get into this outfit. You've seen this skirt plenty of times. Honestly, it's my most favorite, most worn skirt because it's so comfortable and it's really, really colorful. So yeah. And I like to add a tank top and these clogged style sandals I just love. They just give me Lizzie McGuire for some reason. So just to transition this outfit, I literally just need to add a jumper. So I'm going to add this pink one because we're still keeping it very colorful and very vibrant. This is the first way to transition your outfit. Really, really simple and very easy. I assume you have some sort of skirt in your wardrobe already and you have a jumper. Whatever the whatever color or pattern you have, the outfit formula is still the exact same. And I just love, I love this jumper. It's so vibrant and very comfortable. If you haven't already started taking out your jumpers now is this time to really start digging out those jumpers that you have in your wardrobe somewhere all right so this next outfit is also one that i wear a lot i i love these leopard print trousers or pants because they're just super super comfortable so i tend to wear them <laughs> everywhere so how i would transition this there's two ways the first one is with the exact same pink jumper because that's just like an easy fix. I really like this outfit combo. I really like it. It's just really cool and calming, at least calming for me. I love the pink jumper with leopard print. So this is another option that you can layer up to transition your outfits. Whatever pants that you have, or even maybe linen pants, you can just throw on a oversized shirt, a simple tank top over, over. Especially if the shirt is a bit thicker, this is definitely a lot of thicker material. And if this is too much nude for you, you can always add a pop of color with any of the hand bags here maybe i'll go for green or something so this but again this is transition this the weather is not too cold option number two and i just wanted to try on this shirt and the jumper really quickly to give you and even myself some more alpha inspiration and i think this really looks nice i love how it looks i love the the color shirt peeking through just the oversized white shirt to be honest and i love the layered effect at the bottom and it kind of ties in with the the pink and white trainers that i'm wearing i yeah this is a really comfortable really warm look especially the weather is a little bit cooler because so this is the final option this is the second option i had in mind before i got carried away with the second look I just love the color combo here. I love the green and leopard print. I just feel like they look so nice. They're very, very harmonious. So if you have a, like a wide leg pants or even like a linen pants, maybe consider adding like a really lightweight crop jacket or like a denim jacket. This is meant to be like a denim jacket. I stole it from my mom. I have no idea where she got it from, but it's just really, really cute and very convenient. I love the fact that it's like three quarter sleeves and it's not like full sleeves. And I love the sort of gold accent buttons here. I feel like that really complements like the whole entire look so yeah so this is the outfit we're gonna move into a different look now we're gonna just forgo all this leopard print stuff and just go into the next outfit because i feel like i've shown you guys four different outfits already and we haven't even gotten into the video yet so let's move into the next outfit <laughs> Let's focus on shorts for a minute. I've been wearing a lot of shorts this summer. It's actually been even more the rage, especially like Bermuda type shorts. So for me to transition this into full, simply I will just add a blazer or yeah, actually just a blazer. I, I like this outfit, how it is. It's actually something a similar I've worn out before because obviously in the UK, we're always in transitional weather anyways. This one is just so simple and very, very casual and easygoing. So a little bit edgy too. So 
These Bermuda shorts are from H&M. You've seen them plenty of times alongside this graphic t-shirt as well, which I always, always wear in all of my videos. It is versatile. And then my blazer, which is also from H&M. I've had this blazer for a little while now, and it's just a plaid blazer. And I feel like fall is a perfect time to bring out like the plaid, the checkered blazers, because it's very much fall appropriate. So bring them out, girl, bring them out. And I've added these Mary Janes that I got randomly in Primark just to kind of dip my toe in the trend. It was like a very impulsive purchase, but it was like five pounds. So it's not like that crazy. Surprisingly, I've worn them quite a lot and they're very comfortable actually. So this is the first option. Let's move into option number two. Option number two, double denim. I feel like I always bring out double denim in like every other video, simply because I just love it. I love how cohesive and how like harmonious a double double denim outfit looks. You just look more put together. Like you look like you thought about your outfit, but you just chuck in a few things. So <laughs> this outfit that I'm wearing, so same shorts, Bermuda style shorts with a frayed hem and a men's oversized denim shirt, which I practically wear in a lot of my videos. Guys, shop in the men's section. It's just the best over that side. Just go ahead. <laughs> Thank you later. So this shirt is quite thick, so it's great for that transitional weather. Do you know what I mean? If it's, it's a bit more like, you know, cooler, this is a really nice um, shirt to add on. Um, Boot-wise, I got, I thrifted these recently. I got these on Vinted. Yeah, I know I've been shopping on Vinted a lot. They are originally from Zara though. I did pick up some few things in the Zara sale. <laughs> Girl, the boot section in Zara right now, the sale. Ooh, don't miss out, don't miss out. But these I did get second hand. And of course, I like to add my long socks just for styling purposes, no other reason. I like them. I feel like this is a very much street style and I like it. It's edgy. <laughs> and that's exactly what I want. Edgy and comfortable. I'm piggybacking off the last outfit here because I recently wore an outfit. I'll leave that here. Um, and I featured it in one of my videos, but I also wear it out as well. And it, I was wearing a denim vest top and also the same balloon type jeans from uh, from Sainsbury's and I really love that outfit. So this is actually my version of that summer look, the exact same outfit formula, but this is how I would bring it into the transitional months, you know, as the weather starts to warm up a little bit. I will just swap out the denim vest just for a denim jacket, just to keep the double denim going, especially with the same shade. It's a darker, deeper blue, which is perfect for like the fall season. This denim jacket is from Mango. I've had it for maybe just a few years now, maybe two years or so. And I don't wear it as often as I would like, but it is really comf comfy <laughs> and just so easy going. You know what I mean? It's like a nice little jacket. You know, we used to have those, those ones in style. <laughs> but denim jackets, they never go out of style. So this is a great way to just wear it on its own. If it got a little bit cooler as well, you could also add a turtleneck underneath, which will be a really nice like layering piece. I think it will really complement um, the whole look. I tried this with several different boots and footwear, but to sort of emulate the summer outfit, I added these loafers, which are perfect for like the fall season. It's a good time to bring out these loafers, guys. Bring them back out. <laughs> And instead of the denim bakerboy hat, I just wore the black bakerboy one, baker one because it matches with the shoes and just kind of ties in the whole look. Hopefully this gives you some inspiration. With that being said, let's move into the next outfit. Another way to transition your outfit is to pair a boot with a dress, which is classic outfit formula that I wear year on year and it never fails me. This one I'm wearing right now, this one's from Oliver Bonus. I love this dress for two reasons. It's very loose and comfy and also it's long sleeve, which is really handy, especially if you're out and about and it's a bit windy and you don't want to wear an extra layer. Like the weather is cool enough that you don't really, you can get away with just wearing like having your, like your arms covered. So that's always handy. And if you have your boots, then you're only only really showing this much of skin, just a little bit amount of skin. I hope I'm making sense. My brain's a bit fried. I'm hungry, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> Anyways, this boot that I got in is brand new. I haven't even worn it yet. I'm so excited to just like put it on. I got it in Zara sale. I think I mentioned Zara sale earlier, but this is the one I got in Zara sale. It's like a nice um, deep maroon or deep browny burgundy shade, which 
it's gonna complement so many different outfits when I wear them more but yeah this is just a classic outfit formula and it's a great way to transition some of your dresses from summer to fall and yeah this is it absolutely lovely let's move into the next one next way you can transition your summer wardrobe to fall is by incorporating really deep autumnal colors like the one I'm wearing right now this top I absolutely love this high neck top it's very dressy so if you're if you're looking for like a nice dressy top it's a nice way to just incorporate the full colors like this is like deep um, maroons burgundies greens oranges all the earthy tones that I just love I am such a fan of this top it is a high low cut so I can tuck it in and you know create some shape wear or whatever there's so much options to style this top I'm I kept it really really simple this is very much lazy style if I'm being honest I just kept my tan sandals and my <laughs> jeans from Zara and the accessories throughout this whole video has been the same throughout but I just wanted to give you some ideas of how you can add um pieces into your wardrobe to help you transition especially if you're in like a warmer climate and the weather doesn't change that much <laughs> i feel like incorporating autumnal colors is just a great way to feel like you are you're in the fall season do you know what i mean yeah but i just kept this outfit very simple and um i like it it's just very very much comfy and me i will have the details for this top below because i feel like it is such a nice it's such a nice top it's so lovely Anyways, guys, if you found this video helpful, do let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite or if you've got any style tip that you think, oh, yeah, this is great. Let me know what that is. I appreciate, like, I really appreciate your feedback and your comments. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching and don't forget to check out these videos right here. I've got loads more styling content for you on here. Bye.